uh, John Nord here and I thought I would uh, do a, a small video on uh, creating a three-piece buckle tip. Um, a lot of people use dies to make their buckle tips and I have dies also but um, some of you out there may not have a die, may not have a press and this is a way that you can create a quality uh, belt tip without a die and I just felt like there was a need to see that uh, because I realized that not everybody has uh, all the equipment that everybody else does and uh, so I'm going to show you a few steps um, at, at making a three piece um, no die belt tip so stay tuned and I'll show you a few things on this Okay, also, I have uh, the buckle tip. This is the only thing I haven't showed in a film yet, I don't believe. Uh, I, I have t uh, dies to bend buckle tips, and uh, I use them a lot. But when I want a real flat top and a real precise tip, I solder the whole tip together with three pieces. And uh, to explain that, this will be the top, and it will have rope around the top edge. That's why I want the top flat. Uh, this will be the uh, sides of it, and this will be the backing. I'll solder it down here once I get the top on, and. Uh, then I'll cut it out. This little disc right here uh, is to, I'll solder it on the back of the buckle tip like that. On the, say this is the bottom side. I'll solder it right here and drill a hole and thread it for a set screw to hold it on the belt. That's the cleanest method I've found and the most reliable. The customer can uh, change their tip between uh, belts if they want to. So anyway, uh, tip. that's why I'm making a three-piece belt tip uh, to uh, get a real precise flat top belt tip. Okay, I want to say one thing. This would be a lot easier if you cut this side piece out in the, and bend it in the shape you want the tip. Put it on a sheet of silver for the top and cut it out. Then flip it over, put it on another sheet of silver and cut it out. The way I'm doing it here is a little more advanced. I cut my top out because I wanted to see exactly what shape it was going to be and I wanted it a certain shape so and then I bent this to form around it you have to be a lot more precise when you're soldering to be able to do that and to get it in the right spot that's why I soldered just the tip of it right here now I'm going to come along here and I'm going to bend these to the right spot I'll solder them 
along the two outside edges. Then when I put the bottom on, I'll flip it over on the bigger piece of metal, um, this, and I'll just solder it down and I'll cut it out. But you can do the top and the bottom that way and not have to be so precise on this. But I did it this way uh, because I wanted to see how my top was going to fit the buckle and everything. Okay, I've had a little break here. Had to go take care of some things. Uh, as I was showing you, uh, I put this in the acid over there and I looked around on it and it's all soldered real good. I cut the tails off here and you can see we basically got a half a tip here. And I'm fixing to flux this up. We're going to put it down on this uh, piece of... Uh, silver here and we're going to uh, solder it down all around the edges then we'll trim it and we'll have our belt tip and then we're going to put our screw hole back here our set screw and then we'll proceed with putting the rope on and the uh, floral and all that we'll flux it up good here And the idea here is to not get the top too hot where this comes apart. We're going to try to just heat up the bottom part uh, by using the charcoal. I'm going to put this here on top to hold it in place. And it will also take the heat away from this top piece so uh, we don't have a chance of it coming apart on us. We just want this bottom part heated up. Okay, I had to be real careful not to uh, unsolder the top of that. I, I didn't like that other, that small tip. It wasn't letting my solder flow right. It wasn't getting it hot enough. Uh, we've got it flowed now, and we've got both sides soldered, and I don't think the top was damaged at all, but we'll check it out here. Top still looks good. We'll put this in the acid, clean it up, and then we'll be trimming it off. Okay, uh, you recall earlier we uh, soldered the tip all together and I had to cut the bottom edge off of it and I've done that and I've sanded it all down all over and I've put white out along the outside edge because I'm going to put this rope on here and a flower which is going to have a bezel in the middle to hold a turquoise stone. Anyway, when I solder this rope on, I don't want any solder getting down along the sides here. I could sand it off, but it's just a little bit easier if I have white out on there so the solder don't get down on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, flux all this up, put some clips on it, and then uh, we're going to try to sort of the rope and the flower on all in one step.
Okay, as you can see, I've got uh, the rope on here, and I've got the flower in the center. If you can see that. On this rope, I sanded the, fl uh, the bottom of that rope flat, so it will lay down flat on there. I've got everything fluxed. I'm going to try to sort of this all down. Okay, I think we got it soldered down on there all right. Uh, we'll put it in the acid, look at it real good, make sure the rope's all soldered. And uh, I've got a little bit of cleanup to do around the flower, but it looks pretty good. Now what we'll do is we'll clean this up, then we'll flip it over and solder our uh, disc on to put the set screw through. Okay. We've got the flower on, we've got the rope on. Uh, you can see we've got some solder, solder uh, cleanup to do right around the flower here. But the rope's on real good. We didn't get much solder on the side. I got a little spot right there. I guess uh, uh, some of the white out got wiped off right there. But it didn't, none on the other parts of the sides. And the way this is going to wind up is this bezel is going to solder right into there when I get ready. And then uh, the turquoise stone will be in there. And then that will be the way this is. This will all be engraved around here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to solder this disc on right back here in the center like that and then I'm going to drill that and tap it for uh, an allen screw and uh, that will be a set screw to hold this tip on the belt. Now I've tinned the back of this disc with extra easy solder. I don't normally tin things but in this case I think it'll be best I can just uh, put a, uh, a hold that there in place and heat it up and when it flows it's done maybe we won't make a lot of mess on that I've switched back to the small tip I'm hoping that will will do it on this one I don't want to put a lot of heat because I don't want nothing coming off the other side Okay, we got a good flow around that disc. 
and looks like all our soldering over here is in good shape still so all we'll have to do now is drill and tap that and our tip will be on the way to be completed okay I was going to show you here I've got the the tip uh, pretty much done and uh, I've got it all engraved here and I've got the bezel uh, soldered on I've got my flower engraved I've got a little bit of uh, maybe small detailing to do on this yet but it's pretty much done on the back side I've got my set screw put in and uh, you can see here how it, it uh, comes up there and then you put your belt in there and you just run it down and it tightens on the belt so we've got the tip completed other than cutting and putting the stone in there and uh, I'll do that as I finish the buckle set okay I hope you uh, learned something from this uh, short video on uh, belt tip making uh, three piece um, I think this tip came out pretty good and of course I haven't put the stone in it yet but uh, anyway it's a, it's a good quality tip and it's a nice flat top nice flat bottom has the set screw and everything uh, it, it's a high end tip uh, in my mind so uh, I hope this helped you and uh, show you that you can, can make these without a die. If you are fortunate enough to have a die, um, well, it's pretty easy with a die and a press to make belt tips. Uh, sometimes, though, I like to make them this way just to, to keep that flat top on them when I'm putting ropes and things like that on them. So, uh, hey, uh, like my video and uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have another video out on a three-piece buckle set that this tip goes in, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Thanks.